Hi everybody, today I've been posting out copies of the new Stampin' Up! Otter Winter catalogue to my customers and I wanted to show you this very cute little bookmark that I've been sending out so you can see the Santa on the front and then the gingerbread man inside. So if I just take that out, I thought it'd be fun to show you just how I made it. This particular little bookmark is made using the Cookie Cutter Christmas stamp set, which is obviously one of the ones out of the new Autumn Winter catalogue, and it's bundled with a matching punch. And with these bundles, if you buy both together, then you get a discount. Everyone likes a bargain. I'm going to start off though with the Gingerbread Man. So using my chocolate chip ink pad, I'm going to stamp the image onto Whisper White and I'm using the stamping mat underneath because these are photopolymer stamps and you really will get a crisper image if you use that. So the ink of course dried very very quickly and I'm just going to line it up with the matching punch and punch him out. There we go. Then using the same piece of card because I can get two images from this card quite easily. I'm going to stamp the Santa using my basic black ink pad. So let's line him up. Down. Put him out. So what I want to do to give this wee guy some colour, I'm going to use my stamping markers. So I've got real red, basic black, Blushing Bride, just to give him some colour in his cheeks. And this is Crushed Curry, which I use just for the detail on the buckle of his belt. Now, in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I've coloured in already. So again, with my punch, I'm just going to line that up and punch him out. There we go. Put that down. While I still have my punch handy, I'm using some of our red glimmer paper to punch out a little bow tie. Now by doing a thin strip like this and lining it up it means I've got very little wastage and I only punch out the shape I want without wasting lots of my glimmer card. So before I put the punch away I'm going to um, punch out two more sh uh, of the cookie cutter shapes with these are magnetic sheets so it's like magnetic paper you sometimes get free magnets with marketing material and uh, or you can buy the sheets of paper as well the trickiest part is sliding it in because of course it's magnetic but you should find that they punch out quite nicely and i'm going to do two of these shapes because i want one for each side of my bookmark there we go. Now, to put it together, I'm going to use some of the Real Red Stitched Grow Green ribbon, which I am loving this stuff. I think it's one of my favourite ribbons. And I've got a six inch strip that I've cut off here. I'm going to stick that to the back of my little shapes and just in the head area because I only want a small amount stuck down, enough to be secure, but also enough to still have some ribbon left for my bookmark. What I want to do as well is just put a little bit more of my snail adhesive on to the ribbon. I find snail is really good at sticking down ribbon, but for the rest of the body I'm going to use Tombow because I find it quite forgiving when you're lining things up. So putting Tombow on both sides of the shape and you'll see that it's done, they're both face up so that the magnet when it closes will close um, like that with your fastening. So, right, putting one of my magnetic shapes on then, starting with the body so I can line it up and then pressing down firmly on the head where of course the snail will hold it nicely in place and then the same for the other side just line that up press it down yeah voila now they're cute like that but i want to make these a little bit fancier so 
my little red glimmer paper bow tie with a little bit more Tombow is going to go on my cute little gingerbread man. Of course this is the red that matches the ribbon and matches the ink of the Santa so to make my Santa really special what, I'm, what I've used are mica flakes now you can see just how much they sparkle the video does not do it justice the mica flakes are in the autumn winter catalogue and you get three bags you get the gold the green and the white i'm looking forward to doing some christmas trees with the green i think that could look really pretty i'm going to use the fine tip glue pen and just put some glue where i want my mica flakes to go so i'm going to use the band of his hat a little bit of his beard and you really do not need much glue at all so I'm hardly squeezing I'm just letting gravity push the glue out and I'm using small circles just to fill my areas remembering to do the cuffs and then just the tops of his boots once you've got that completely glued then with your mica flakes going to be very generous tip the whole lot over so that it's covering the whole image and then just to make sure that I've got it well and truly glued down this is just a bit of greaseproof paper a bit of baking parchment I'm just going to put that on top and press firmly down because this will help the mica flakes to adhere to my glue then I'm just going to lift that up tap it a few times tapping it from behind to tap off the excess and there you see we've got a beautifully glittery sparkly Santa and then just I put a bit of folded card underneath before I started so that I can tip off my excess mica flakes back into the bag so you use hardly any at all and that will go a really long way and there you go there is my little bookmark ready to go out with another autumn winter catalogue if you would like a free copy of the autumn winter catalogue and with one of these cute little bookmarks inside then please leave me a comment or you can contact me through my facebook page craft with emma or you can also email me at info at craftwithemma.co.uk thanks for watching happy crafting <laughs>